What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we have another custom review. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so you guys have been asking for it. You guys have been leaving a lot of comments on my on any of my uh, small soldier figures. You guys keep asking for more small soldier figures um, videos or repaints or custom figures and whatnot. So uh, here he is, another uh, small soldier figure for you guys. I have not made this guy yet. I have not painted this guy yet. Um, this is the first time I paint uh, this particular figure um i have done another chip hazard but it was like the regular chip hazard um and i thought this one was really cool uh this is for a client uh he just sent it to me so i could repaint it and so uh here is the uh, the final product uh this one's pretty cool uh this one i guess has a little gimmick where his his legs come off so uh yeah so it does that um, and I painted them because he wanted me to paint them exactly the same as a regular chip hazard. So that's what I did. And so, uh, except for the little parts, I wanted to make a metal, make them more realistic, I guess, more towards, more, uh, leaning towards the movie than it is towards the action figure. Because the action figure, if you guys ever seen the action figure, I think the pants were all black. Uh, this was black. Uh... Not 100% sure what color the vest was. Well, anyways, let me show you a picture of what it originally looked like. So, there you go. That's what it originally looked like, and this is what it looks like now. Um, this guy took me quite a while to repaint. Um, it was... This guy was a lot longer. Obviously, it was a lot harder to paint than um, the original uh, Chip Hazard was because it has a lot more stuff that I had to paint. Like all these little pieces of... Uh, uh, metal parts. I had to uh, shade it and um, weather it and all that stuff and also these little wires You guys can see those wires in there. I had to paint every single one of those little wires uh, And also these little wires in there And also all these little wires in there and all these little gadgets and gadgets and doohickeys and all that stuff uh, I did repaint all that uh, I had to repaint the whole face to match the arms because I had to repaint these arms again and I didn't want this arm to be a certain color and then this arm be another color and then this face be a whole completely different color. So uh, I had to repaint the whole thing. Um, so yeah, um, this guy took uh, quite a quite a quite a long time <laughs> quite a long time to uh, uh, paint but uh, I think it came out pretty good and also had a little make this little a uh, bronze color little shiny bronze color there painted the gun uh painted this part of the gun this part of the gun was originally brown i think it was uh all the little buckles a uh, little metal plate thing here at the bottom of his uh shoes the soles of his boots uh everything everything basically everything's completely repainted everything you know, every single piece of them is repainted except the belt I couldn't paint the belt because being that you have to press the button, uh, it'll just scratch off all the paint from the button and that wouldn't be good. Um, so there was no reason for me to paint that. So didn't bother with that. Anyways, so yeah, here he is. Uh, Chip Hazard all screwed up. Chip Hazard uh, um, weathered and beat up and robotic Chip Hazard. Uh, I gotta say, this is one of the coolest figures. I don't understand why this arm is just stretched out like this, though. Uh, it could be just so it could hold a gun, maybe, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's kind of awkward when you put the hand down like that. It just, it just looks like a, a PG-13. <laughs> it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't look quite right. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways. So there is a little quick review of this chip hazard. I thought it was a really cool figure. So, and you guys were asking for more small soldier figure reviews. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was for you, uh, for you fine people out there that requested it. So uh, thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, if you like this little video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.